Hey everybody, how are you? It's um, Thursday at about 1.15 in the afternoon. Um, just thought I'd update you guys on a couple things. Number one, the allergy medicine thing with the $500 a month copay that's taken care of. An outside company is going to pick that up and make sure that I get my shots. I'm in shock over that. Anyhow, um, I got up this morning and I swept a couple of the hard floors before hubby found out what I was doing. And then I got my little hand kind of back out and was doing the main walkway. Don't mind my hair, I'm a mess. Um, the main walkway through the house. And, um, not a lot, you know, I, I, but I knew I was doing too much, so I got off my foot and took some medicine and uh, took a little nap. But Chris went to get me lunch because I want a fillet of fish, believe it or not. Look at my hair. I want a fillet of fish, so he ran out to get me that. Don't mind me, I'm such a mess. Um, he went out to get me a fillet of fish, and then when he gets back, I'm going to go out and um, just look at my grass and stuff. I can't. I know I can't go out there and mess with it. And I'm thinking by maybe by tomorrow, I'll be able to scoot around the house a little bit with just the cane. Because um, the pain's not horrific um, today. It's there, but you know, it's not like it was on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday was the worst. Tuesday, I just wanted to kill myself. It was horrible. Whoops, I better not say that. Somebody lot will turn me into suicide. I don't mean that. It was just a play on words. Um, but yeah, so next week I start with returns to doctors, you know, like, um, I think I go to my surgeon next week, I go get my first allergy shot next week, um, I don't know, I don't know, I want to make my appointment for my PET scan, the place I go is dropping my insurance, uh, the 1st of October. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to change insurance because they've treated me so well. So, I'll have to figure that out. But it covers all my doctors. So, I may have to go to Tampa for that PET scan. And if I do, I do. Um, but the lady I was talking to told me... Um, she doesn't know they can't do the full body like he wanted because of the knee. So, I'm just taking it one day at a time, guys. One day at a time. No sense in, you know, making plans to do anything because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. And my, oh, my physical therapist was here yesterday. And, um, believe it or not, the exercises. He gave me a list of five. I think he said there's 12 total that I'll have to show him I can do eventually. But doing such simple things I didn't realize were so difficult. Oh, excuse me, so difficult. Yeah. But if I can get around and I don't have the pain when this is all said and done, it's worth it. I'm sure probably a lot of other people would be in more pain than I am because I have no pain medicine, you know, other than my Aleve. Um, but I have a high tolerance for pain. I think I told you guys that one time. I have a real high tolerance for pain. Um, but it's okay. But I know I'm not having another knee done. I know that. Mm -hmm. Not doing it. I think, and it's not so much the pain, 
that's what stopped me. It's the not being able to do what I want to do stuff, you know? So, yeah, no. I want to get through the PET scan stuff and whatever's going on with that first, you know? I'll worry about the other. The other knee isn't nowhere near like this one, so. So, yeah, hubby got up this morning and he's dealing with the animals. He sees now what I go through every day. With all these animals, with this house, you got to be on the lookout, you know, if the animals are in the house, that they're not fighting and tearing things up. And it, that's a full time job in itself, let alone cleaning up after two adult men and, you know, keeping my house in order. He's trying. Uh, he just doesn't see the dirt like I do. Um, but maybe he'll learn now after this. He'll understand exactly what it is that I go through. Plus, on top of it, try to do things that I enjoy, you know, like growing my yard and my plants. And I got a beautiful brand new pattern for pants. I can't sit down and sew because I don't have time. I think I'm going to start making time for stuff, you know? It's about time I do do all of me instead of just do a little bit of me, you know. So I'm gonna do. So anyhow, I could have used an extra pair of hands around here, you know, one of my kids or something, but they're busy with their own lives, so. And I'm not one to push. I'm just not. So. I want to get out of the house maybe Sunday. Um, maybe get in the RV and go for a ride because we, we need to put gas in it anyhow. It's only got like a half a tank of gas that needs to be filled up. Or maybe we'll go up to the flea market and I'll have him rent a wheelchair and we'll just spend the day at the flea market. Something. I just want to get out of the house now. But I survived. I can't complain about anything. Right now, my pain level, maybe about a four, you know, it's not bad. So it's okay. It's okay. I woke up today. It's a good day. Yeah. Didn't sleep quite quite as good last night. The night before, I died. I slept the whole night through. I couldn't believe I did. When I woke up, I was like, what is it, 2 o'clock? No, it was like 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so that's good. But I'm going to chill today. Um, then I want to start, you know, walking, even if it's to the court. I live on the corner, but, you know, down the driveway and up to the corner and back down and back in. Um, I got to keep busy, you know. got to do something. I'm going to find something I can do while I'm sitting here. So I got another kitty cat in my lap. They don't know what to do because I'm not out there every morning at, you know, 6.30 feeding them and they get all excited. But it's okay. We're going to get through this. Life is okay. Alright guys, I just want to jump on here and let you all know I'm still alive. I'm good. I know I look like shit, probably sound like shit, but I'm okay. I'm, for what I, my leg's been through, I'm good. I'm good. All right, y'all. Thanks for stopping, and if you'll push my buttons, and I love you all for checking in and being concerned. And um, I'll be back later tonight. I think I feel well enough. Um, then I'm not going to be laying here like a big old baby. All right, guys, I love you. I'll be back later.